Hey you guys, I am back with another video. Today is gonna be something a little bit different. I saw them a little bit, you know, out of the norms. That I usually would mm -mm, not have that. But I was like, you know what? I'm trying new things, might as well. Today I am gonna do a mukbang, a mukbang, a mukbang, a... I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce it. I hear it different ways each time I watch one of these. I am gonna do vegetarian Chinese food. So I have orange tofu, curry tofu, and rice noodles, stir fries. And we're gonna just talk about life and what life has me doing right now. So let's just dig in. This is my first time ever having this. First, let's try the orange tofu. It's a very airy inside and it tastes like curry. So I'm not even mad at it. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about my life. Okay. So right now, it's a new year, you know, people have new year's resolutions. Mine was to focus more on my music. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. This month I have big things coming my way. Uh, I'm not gonna say exactly what it is at the moment because I don't wanna like jinx myself. I know that's crazy, but it's... I saw my mom work, but I'm excited. Let me take a bite. Uh -huh. Another thing, I finally finished recording one of my songs. I'm super excited about it. Shout out to Mindy. Mandy Rose is her stage name. I'll leave her link down below. But, you know, she, ugh, I love her so much. She understands my vision for music. And it's just like, I don't even have to say it. And she knows. She just knows. We're on that level. That was the orange tofu. Let me tell y'all. I don't need to eat meat ever again. That was so good. Mm. That was, actually, I'm lying. I like me some salmon. I wouldn't mind trying it out for, you know, a little bit. I've done it before, but like, it's been a while. It's been a couple of years. This is the rice noodles. Okay, that's good too. But I will say that my favorite thing that I've tried so far, the orange tofu. Mm -mm -mm. Some of you may have known I'm in college, but I've been having to take classes like here and there and whatnot. Last semester I did my classes online. I was so scared for the final exam for one of my classes the point that I did not check my grade <laughs> for like two weeks but your girl passed <laughs> anyways that's not what I was gonna say I want to hurry up and get this basis of school done so I could go on and like pursue what I what I really want to pursue I mean besides music I'm just excited to see what my future holds you know tofu is such a crazy thing because it just takes on the flavor of like what you give it Yo, this is crazy. Can I become a vegetarian? Can I do it? I feel like I can because I am a picky meat eater. I don't like fat on my meat when I eat it. I don't like bones. I don't like medium rare or rare. I don't really eat red meats anymore. <gasps> oh my gosh. My dog scared me. I, I'm sorry. I just kicked him. <laughs> I thought it was a lizard. Oh, homegirl don't like lizards, man. <laughs> mm. It just made me hot doing all that. It made me itchy. But yeah, for school, at first I want to do psychology. That's always interests me. And after I do that, law. So I know I picked like two major things that's gonna take a very long time in school. 
but um, I'm down for the count, you know, I'm ready. I was hanging out with my friend the other day. We both have totally two different perspectives on religion and God and so forth. I'm a Christian. He doesn't believe. We had like a very good time. He was telling me how this girl that he worked with was kind of like pushing her religion on him. He proceeded to tell me like how she has like not living by the rules of the Bible yet she's pushing her religion on him. And so I stopped him and I'm like, this is what I don't do. I'm like, I don't push my religion onto people, but I also don't deny that I have a religion, that I'm a Christian and that I believe in God and that he works miracles and healing and you know, he moves mountains, he's Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I have no doubt in my mind that he is, but at the same time, I'm not gonna push my religion onto you because that's the way that you lose people instead of gaining them. You have to understand that the person that you're talking to, like as a Christian, the person that you're talking to is in a different mindset and that when you just push religion onto them that you may not have the outcome that you want. Me and this person have been friends for eight years and the whole time he's known that I've, I'm, I'm Christian, came to church with me, respects my beliefs, I respect his, and you know, so forth. That's what I feel like some people are lacking nowadays is that they just it's like a religious spirit and very condescending and uh, what's the word? A hypocritical type of essence about them. You have to practice what you preach because when you end up preaching something that you're not practicing and then the person that you're speaking that to sees that, they'll be like, why am I gonna believe you when you're not even doing it? So you just lost somebody, you know? This, mm. so good. I like my hair and got my braids back. I don't think I recorded any braids when I got my braids. Yo, okay, I be having the craziest dreams. And then I wake up, I tell my sister, and then she's like, I'm gonna make it a book. I'm like, um, we could split it. 40, 60, since I'm the one who came up with the idea. I dreamt the dream, it was me. She's trying to take more percentage of my idea. And I was like, no, but she's shook. I was thinking about doing a thing on here where I read my dream journal. That would be crazy. I could see into the mind of Chuck. I'm a very slow eater and I also don't really eat a lot. And there was a lot on this plate. I feel like there's still a lot on this plate. And I have somewhere I have to be. I've been experimenting with eyeshadow. I usually only mess with like a certain colors, like red and like golds. This week, my sister, T Shell, she started a makeup page, which I'll also put in the down below so y'all could check her out. Go follow her on IG, you know support my sister the one who raped she didn't raise me but the <laughs> the one who fought off the bullies the one who used to do my makeup who taught me how to do makeup anyways y'all go follow her page tisha latrice what was i even saying and this was the moment i realized i was talking too much oh she inspired <laughs> she inspired me so I was venturing out in different colors. The first day, I did yellow. I got scared. And then I just plopped some type of other color on top of it and then it just turned into what I usually do. I was like, okay. The next day I did red. That was popping. I was looking like some fire. The <laughs> next day, I did, I wanna say, hmm, I wanna say, I wanna say that it was blue. It was blue. I did blue. And I was looking like the sky. You know, I'm doing all the elements. <laughs> oh, I should've did green. And today, you know, I did the pink purplish color that's going on here. But yeah, I'm totally done eating right now. I can't force myself to eat anymore. 
I'm not even gonna show y'all my plate because that's gonna be a disgrace and y'all gonna just be like, did you even eat anything? Yeah, you you guys should just follow me on IG, Jackie Smiles. See what I have coming up next. See what the big news is that I'm <coughs> excited for. Just keep updated with me so you can see like when that song drops that mindy put together for me i'm gonna try to start uploading here more i stopped because my phone got stolen i was recording on my phone and then the phone that i got had lesser storage so i wasn't able to like record like i was recording before and uh, anyways <laughs> i deleted some stuff so i had some space i just need to get a camera now so i have better quality and you know <laughs> will be locked and loaded so yeah you guys should follow me on my ig jackie smiles you should subscribe here on youtube like and comment share and don't forget to be back here next time and i love you all have a beautiful new year